This is an inlet cone. The inlet cone routes the air into your wheel. It bolts on to the housing and it overlaps the wheel a little bit inside here. So there's a shroud lip inside the wheel. On this one, it's about that long. And this cone overlaps a little bit. Sometimes, if the cone shifts or there's a problem and you have to install a new one, you need to line it up so that you don't have interference between the cone and the wheel. You want to make sure that your cone sits concentrically inside the wheel. So you can run your fingers around it. On this one, we're going for about a quarter inch gap between the cone and the wheel. So we run our fingers around it to make sure it's concentric or use a tape measure and measure different points to make sure that you have a quarter inch all the way around and the cone sits concentrically within the wheel.